So this morning our focus is on outlining and we're going to be working on getting all of your note cards moved into an outline. But I want to start right here with this little piece of information. It's at the top of page 8 in your research packet. And this tells you how to include your sources in your writing. At the end of every piece of information in your paper, you're going to include what source that information came from. So if you look closely at the paragraph here in front of us, it's about Pearl Harbor. It says Pearl Harbor was a devastating battle, and then it has a number 7 in parentheses. That stands for the source number that that information came from. So on the top of right of that note card, it had a 7 because it's from source 7. And then it says where 300,000 service members lost their lives. And it has a 2 in parentheses after that. Most of the time that number is going to be at the end of your sentence, wherever that piece of information came from, whichever source. You're going to put a source number there for it. This is going to be an important part of outlining, so make sure you understand what this means before you move on to the next step, which is starting on your outline. Outlining. We are here today to start your outline. Um, when we left off in our last video, we had sorted our note cards. So here's my paragraph A, all sorted, ready to go. This is main point A. Um, when we sorted this particular student's cards, it, her main point A broke out into two different paragraphs. So this is her first paragraph of main point A. And she, her main topic is the Buchenwald concentration camp. And this paragraph happens to be about the creation of the camp and what types of prisoners were held there. So that's what you see in my hands right here, is her main point A. So let's take a look at the outline. This is paragraph two and it's main point one or A as we're calling it, same thing. So this is what we're gonna be writing today. We skip the topic sentence and the concluding sentence. You don't write your topic sentence or your concluding sentence until you've written your paragraph. You don't know what you're introducing and you don't know what you're concluding until you have a paragraph there. So I'm gonna be working on A, B, and C today within this main point one or A, paragraph two. So that's what you guys are going to be watching me walk through today. So take a look at these note cards I have. My first two note cards I actually decided to combine. So this one says that it was established on July 16, 1937 near Mount Edersburg. This one also says 1937, but it gives me that added piece of information that it was from a wooded area and it was five miles in central Germany, probably five miles from Edersburg in central Germany. So I'm going to combine these two. If you look closely, you can see that these facts came from different sources. So I'm going to combine them into my very first sentence. So just watch me write. So here I am on A. And I'm going to start with the word with the name of my camp. Buchenwald was built, just kind of choosing what words I'd use there, in 19... 37 in a wooded area about five notice I'm writing out the word five any numbers under 20 have to be written out in a research paper about five miles from I think we're gonna just say Edersburg Germany now this next step is super important, guys. Earlier in the video, you heard me talk about using your source numbers. I did not mean to put a period there. Earlier in the video, you heard me talk about using your source numbers at the end of your sentences. This is where this comes in. I used source one and source five, so I'm gonna put one comma five. I'm gonna put it in parentheses before the period. So now I have this sentence and I know what source I got it from. First two note cards down. Now moving on to my next one. This is kind of a sub point to A for me. It describes that it was the largest camp made in Germany in 1937. So here I go, my next sentence. It was the largest camp in Germany. Should I say concentration camp? You bet I should. In Germany, parentheses, source one, parentheses, period. There we go, three down. My last one says largest, next one says largest camp built Edersburg Hillside. I already covered that. Next one. It opened for males in July of 1937. Women arrived in late 1943, 1944. Notice I have bulleted points here and I'm combining them into sentences. I'm making them whole sentences. So for line two here, I'm going to put um, the camp. 
I want you to notice, I didn't start with Buchenwald and I didn't start with it. I'm varying the way that I'm starting my sentences so that it doesn't sound like a three-year-old writing it. We want it to have lots of sentence flow and structure. We won't want all long sentences, all short sentences. We want lots of nice flow to the paper. So the camp opened for male prisoners in July of 1937 and for women in late 1943-1944. So kind of a while there, we're not really sure obviously. And then up, oh, I'm at the end of the sentence. I steal my source number right there from my note card, put it in parentheses at the end of the sentence, period. This is what you guys are gonna be working on now. So you're gonna take the note cards you sorted, you put them in order, and you're just gonna start plugging them into your outline in complete sentences with complete thoughts. You're gonna think about how you want your sentences to sound, you wanna think about flow, and you wanna make sure you have your source numbers at the end of every sentence. You're basically writing your rough draft. Um, don't be totally freaked out if you run out of room on here. We can always add pages. We can staple stuff. Um, I could see some of you having just a point A and point B within this outline. Like this one has A, B, C, but maybe you only have an A and B and they're just both really long. You have to kind of make it work for you. You can uh, adjust the outline and make it be what it needs to be for you. But this is your next step and you have a lot of outlining to do to get this thing ready to type.